Hey, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to take this student portfolio template or any Google Sites template and make it your own. Uh, you probably linked to this template from another site. So if you did, you'll notice up at the top you have a blue bar that lets you know that this is a template that exists in the template gallery, but it gives you a link up here to click on so that you can begin using this template immediately. So click on use this template up here at the top. You notice it takes you to the Google Sites template page. It shows you here that you are using this specific template and you have the option to name your site. Um, since this is a student portfolio, I'm just going to name it my name and then CCSD portfolio. So uh, student portfolio or CCSD portfolio, it's up to you what you want to name your site. And under the name of your site, you see that it gives you a URL. This is the link that you can send to people and share with people to bring them directly to your site, to your portfolio. Once you've named it, you click on Create up at the top. And then it tells you up here it's creating your site. Uh, this part may take a minute because it is putting all of your information onto your Google site. Once it loads, um, you see this template is now yours. It names it your name up here at the top. You have the name up in the header. And you are ready to begin editing this template to make it your own. Um, first thing you want to do is come up here in the top right hand corner and click on the little pencil icon. This is the icon that lets you actually edit your page. When you click on that icon, you'll notice now what you're looking at is your website, but it's able to be edited by you. So this is where you can insert pictures, edit text, uh, any of those things. So you just highlight the name up here at the top. You make this your name. You notice it already has a picture in here. Um, if, this, if you need to put a picture off of your computer, you can do that. Uh, if you have a link to a picture, you can also do that. Just click on the picture. You notice you have options below it. If you click on the X here, it will remove the picture altogether. Uh, you can click on change if you have a link to your picture. Uh, put that link here, you just paste your URL here, and then the picture will appear on your site. Uh, but if I have a picture on my computer, I'm just going to remove this picture. Click back up here in this area. You see the, the cursor is flashing. I'm going to come up here to the Insert menu and select Image. From here, I can click on Upload Images, and it will take me to, the, um, to browse to the picture on my computer that I'd like to add. I'm just going to use this simple picture, click on OK. And then depending on the size of the original, the, the size of the picture on your web page uh, might be big, might be small. This one is way too big, so you see that I have the option to uh, make it small, medium, or large based on the original size. So I'm going to click on small to see how that affects the picture. It's a little bit too small, so then I can just keep on going through medium or large if I need to. Uh, medium looks good to me. But I want this to be centered. So you see here, you can change the alignment of your picture. So I click on center, and it centers it inside of this area. I click off of that once I get done. And since you're editing the page, you can go and put your year of graduation, um, the schools you attended in Clark County. And then at the bottom of the page, you see you can enter your honors and awards, extracurricular activities, and noteworthy skills. Once I'm done editing this page, I just go up to the top and click on save. So now all the changes I've made for this particular page are they're there and they're saved. Um, and then you just do the same thing for the other pages. Uh, let's just say for a particular grade level you need to add artifacts. Click on that grade level and you see there's a section here for all of your artifacts. Um, again, the first thing you have to do is click on the edit page button up at the top and you can insert different types of files. You can put YouTube videos, Google Docs, just depending on what your artifact is. So I'm going to hit enter and come below where it says artifact one, click on insert. Um, so if I have an image to put in as my artifact one, I can click on image. Um, if it's a Google doc, I can come over here to drive. And you see here I can insert documents, drawings, folders, forms, any of my Google drive um, artifacts can go in this way. Uh, if you have custom HTML to put in, it's just anything that you have to put in here. Insert is the menu option you wanna go to. Once I've inserted my artifact, it will appear there, and then I just do the same thing for the other artifacts. If I only have two or three artifacts, and I just delete the text and the lines uh, for the other sections, that way there's, there's not too much text there. Once you finish with that, you click on Save, and then you just repeat this process for each page, inserting your artifacts and editing these basic um, things about your, about your template. 
So in the next tutorial, we'll cover uh, more advanced features and more advanced uh, editing in your site, but this should be a good start for you. Thank you.